Welcome to Prime TV. Today I'll be showing you Sakai free React admin template. You know, we have uh, admin templates on our store, but uh, lately we have decided to create a nice looking template for free and it's totally open source. Um, just this morning I have updated it to Prime React 7, so I'm going to show you what it is and how to use it. Okay, if you go to the Sakai React uh, GitHub repository, you will see that um, Sakai React is basically a great React app, but I mean, you can port it to Next.js. We are, we are counting on the community to port it to the different tech stack. Uh, for example, in, for, in the Vue ecosystem, our, our users ported to Sakai Vue version to White, for example. It was based on Vue CLI. So, I'm expecting to communities to step up and port it, fork it, and port it to other technologies as well. So um, if you clone it, I mean, you can just download it or clone it, you will end up with something like this. It's a create React app um, project. You just need to have actually, if you forget about the demos, you need to have Prime React, Prime Flex for the demos and Prime icons. The rest is for, you know, for demos and um, other uh, core React, of course. We also need to have React Transition Group. You can get these dependencies on the documentation. Also, the Prime React Setup Guide lists all the stuff we need. Let's check out the public. We have the, you know, images here mostly um, and the sample uh, pages. Um, yeah, you know, these parts are the assets like the CSS and uh, images. And the nice thing about the Sakai is that you can use it with any theme. So I have just put everything we have on, on open source layer. And the source folder is where the you know JavaScript files are. The layout, um, let's see what we have. You know, this app.js is the main thing. It just imports the core top bar, footer, menu, config, which are the four different sections of Sakai, plus the, you know, regular demos of um, the prime React samples, including the uh, its very own the dashboard. The next step is, I mean, you can just, you know, uh, change and customize this section. This app.js implements the parts where the you know, opening of the menus, toggling of menus, hide, uh, handling outside clicks or things like that. But it also has the menu, which is a, you know, a nested structure of uh, JSON. So uh, JSON kind of, you know, uh, structure. So we have, of course, you can just move it to the JSON file or even just load it from database. That's up to you. But here we have the home section. Under that, we have the UI kit category and you, you, it goes nested. So, for example, if you check out the menu hierarchy, you have sub menus and items and it's based on Prime React Mini Model API. You have full source code, so you can just um, change how this is uh, rendered. So, for example, that um, part goes to the app menu. We have also an app top bar, the routes, footer, and configuration. If you check out app menu, you have, um, you know, what the full markup is in your hands, so you can just customize the way you like it. It's quite simple. The, there's the top bar, the menu, footer, and the configuration. Configuration is, you know, um, for example, um, it's scalable, so it's based on font sizes. If you increase the font size of the body, the whole thing scales up. And we have the input style. If you like the field versions or outline versions, let me go through them when, when I run this. Of course, um, the first thing is that you need to npm install it. I've already done it. And then if you just run npm run start, uh, it will start Sakai. The name comes from Ghost of Tsushima. I'm a gamer myself, so I played Ghost of Tsushima game uh, for a long time. I actually, you know, worked a lot and stopped gaming for three years and I got back to it and I played all the AAA games and the games I missed for the past three years. I work on, you know, Prime stuff for so long, so many years, I've stopped gaming. But after I got back, I played the, you know, um, you know, pretty, pretty cool games like the Ghost of Tsushima. I really liked it. The main character is Jin Sakai. 
So I got the t-shirts, the mugs, and the, you know, named my free template. I've designed this myself and I just named it Sakai. And I hope you like it. So this is Sakai. We have the menu here. And this is the top bar. In this, it has two modes, this, which is this one, static. And you can also move it to the overlay. Then if you like more space, it will just display an overlay. It is fully responsive anyway, so if you just move on to the mobile, it will just always go to the um, overlay mode. So here are inputs. Uh, you can just set them as fields if you like something else. And it's scalable. This is 16 pixels and default is 14. Um, one thing is, I mean, I have also tried to make this, you know, Prime Rack is design agnostic. It can be used with any theme like Bootstrap, Material, Tailwinds, our own Prime One. And it exports CSS variables. So I've used those when implementing that. So all of these colors are, they come from the theme. So for example, you can move it to the Bootstrap, Bootstrap Dark. For example, this is Bootstrap Blue. And you can go Material as well and for example this is the material version and we can go our fluent ui from microsoft and lately i have designed and implemented the lara themes which i call it prime one design 2022 that will be our default theme so i really like it it's an uh It's, it focuses on accessibility. It's quite different from Saga. And for example, if you just, you know, the board, there are borders around uh, the buttons. So it emphasizes on accessibility. And if you check out, there's a dark, dark mode alternatives as well. Uh, a lot of themes. These are the older versions. Uh, from our from the current year and Lara is the next gen. So as I mentioned, you can go material, material dark, all open source and free. Okay, let's move on to Lara. And as I mentioned, it is fully responsive. If you check out on a mobile device, there should not be any errors. It will be usable in, on any device. And um, lately, as I mentioned, it runs on Prime React 7. Whenever a major version comes up, we also update it. So I strongly um, encourage you and suggest you that you go to the Prime React uh, GitHub repository, hit Sakai React, and it's totally free and open source, licensed under MIT. So. If you haven't checked it out, uh, please try it. There might be a pro version, maybe in the future, we are considering that maybe there's a slim mode, horizontal menus, uh, some other, you know, changes, because I really like this team and try to, you know, always try to improve it. So there might be a pro version as well. So um, that's it. Um, thank you for joining me on this one and see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.